Ashley, she started acting very, very strange. She wouldn't let us look at her. She was grabbing onto the bars of the crib and just screaming like a little caged animal. Um, it, was, it was frightening. Her kidneys shut down. She had pancreatitis, which was causing the black vomiting. And her brain was swelling, which was causing the strange mood behaviors. Back in 2006, we were having a spinach salad with our spaghetti dinner. I assumed that when I went to the grocery store and I bought a bag of triple wash spinach that it was going to be safe. Ashley's kidneys were failing because of the E. coli. The first couple of days, um, the doctors didn't really expect her to make it. By the grace of God, her kidneys started working enough. Ashley takes six different medications every day. They suspect that she'll go into renal failure again and need a transplant. They're not sure when. After she got sick and we came home, we lost most of our faith in the safety of our food supply that you can get at the grocery store. Let's see. <laughs> Mommy, look at this one. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> They're together. So we started growing a lot of the things that we eat normally. What we like to do is we go out and we, you know, pick what we need for dinner. I'm gonna empty my bowl. The peppers we now grow, we grow a lot of different kinds of tomatoes now, and like the zucchinis and the squashes, and the farmer's markets supply us with all of the fruit that we can't grow on our own. You got it? Oh, thank you. So what do you guys use for fertilizer for all your stuff? I just There's just a greater amount of transparency there. You know that they're they have a passion for their gardening. They have a passion for good tasting food that's gonna be safe to eat. It does give us a greater level of comfort that the food is gonna be safer, but obviously there's always a risk that it could make you sick. And at least this way we know who to go and talk to if it does make us sick. <laughs> Blueberries. Raspberries? All right. What about some of those blueberries? They look wonderful. I think that what's important for us as a consumer is just that the farmer will tell us how he is producing his food and what steps he's taking to ensure that it's safe. We have an informed choice at this point. You gonna wash them for me? I mean, I think we're all responsible for making our own choices. My family probably makes different choices than my neighbor's family who never experienced food safety issues. Parmesan cheese is here. I think I would tell most people to start talking to the grocers. Start, if you go to farmer's markets, talk to the farmers, find out how things are made, how they're, how they're grown, how they're processed. Oh, I could take some of this and put it on uh, Look how hairy that is. Just, just be aware, I guess, that not all of the food is as safe as you assume it's going to be. I'm going to do something about it. And we're just taking it day by day. Both of them.